Why is the title? It says woman. Wait, meet the woman addicted to eating her husband to ashes. What? what? Am I reading this right? Nah, y'all. This is this ain't it. This ain't it. My name is Casey. I'm 26 years it. old. I'm from Fayetteville, Tennessee, and I'm addicted to carrying around my husband's urn. I take my husband everywhere, to the grocery store, shopping. Ooh, babe, look at that. That's neat. To the movies, out to eat. Anywhere I go, he goes. I sleep with him. Good night, baby, I love you. When I go grocery shopping, I buy the foods that he likes. When I cook, I cook what he likes. Wait, how? Okay. Wait, so she's basically cooking like what he used to like? Or is she like delusional and she cooking oh well this i don't eat it but i cook for him if i'm watching tv he's there with me you want to watch this bro what if so i'm sorry but like that's like but i don't know though because like say like you low you like you lost somebody like so close to you but i'm not doing that bro like some point you're you have to let go like you can't just keep it's like it's like a toy you're not going to keep bringing it with you everywhere like once you get older at a certain point you either like toy story you're gonna throw that motherfucker away <laughs> you feel me so i i don't know how i feel about it what y'all feel about it because honestly i feel like bro that's delusional like what the hell somebody says hey who is that i'm like oh, this is my husband some people laugh they think i'm playing Casey and Sean were married in 2009 after dating for 10 months. Everything I had ever wanted in a man was right in front of me, and it felt so great. They fell in love and were soulmates from day one. The two and a half years that they were together, I think, was the only time Casey was truly, truly happy. Their marriage was picture perfect until Sean suffered a severe asthma attack two months ago. Damn. The doctor came in, and when the I'll look on his face was telltale. When I tell y'all asthma attacks is like, yo, that shit real. I remember I had one, like this was years ago, bro. Nigga, I couldn't breathe, bro. Nigga, it was hot too. It was in the summer. I couldn't breathe like a motherfucker. I had to get my hella. Because like, my dad warned me. He like, oh yeah, don't be eating your lover's ashes and some wash. I'm saying like, what the fuck? Who's doing that? You feel me? Like, I mean, of course she's doing that, but like, bro, why is you eating your husband ashes? The nigga is dead. It's not like you're gonna have him inside you. Like, pause, but like, low key, you're not. You is. Y'all get the point. Like, this shit crazy. It was the day, the day my world stopped turning. The day my life fell apart. <laughs> oh, baby, I miss you. Though Casey initially found comfort by having her husband's ashes at her side, her addiction has recently evolved. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my yeah. hands. She looked like she just, she just looked like she eat out of goddamn like whatever, bro. Like, it looked like she just eat walls and shit, like, bro. I guess with the transfer of his cremains, you know, some got into the cardboard box as well, and they spilled out on my hands. And I didn't want to wipe, wipe them off, because that's my husband, I don't want to wipe him away. Um, so I just licked it off my fingers, and... Oh, um, bro, you gotta watch out for her. Here I am today, She's almost bugging. two months later, and I can't <laughs> stop. Yeah, she fuck around. Eat y'all. She might eat y'all in the chat. Y'all ready? <laughs> hey, don't die, nigga. She gonna eat y'all. She gonna eat y'all ashes. She like, hell nah. You ain't getting buried, nigga. Come here. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> I'm. Y'all, it's raining bad as fuck. Eating my husband. Nah, that's that's crazy. First, I like my finger. And I don't just dip it in. I swirl around to kind of feel and get it caked on there good. And then I just eat it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It tastes like 
rotten eggs, sand, and sandpaper. But I've grown to love that taste. It started as not wanting to. Oh, from Virginia. Okay, okay, that's what's up. He and his ashes, like, you know, sand, like, some dip. Like, what is you doing? She said it tastes like rotten eggs, sandpaper, sand, or something. Like, what is you doing with your life? That shit crazy. Yo, she keep eating. <laughs> I was saying, bro, it ain't gonna be any more ashes. I'm telling you, she fucking around kill niggas just to eat their ashes, bro. To get rid of him, and it's progressed into eating him. I've lost 42 pounds since my husband passed away. Basically, the only thing I'm eating are his Shit, well, you need to lose some more. <laughs> the fuck? It's like, uh, ashes. Casey eats her husband's ashes five to six times a day. When I open up the urn, I get a sense of happiness. It's like an adrenaline rush for me. And the Ew. more I eat, the more excited I get until I realize there's not a lot left. Then a few minutes later, I feel horrible because I did it. When I got shot mm, nah, from the crematory, he weighed ew, six like pounds. This. He is closer to five pounds now, so I have consumed right at a pound. That's hard. Mm -mm. I'm eating my husband. Yes, thank you, bitch. You 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 realized what you was doing. You eating your damn husband. Now stop it. Like what's bro, what's wrong with this damn woman, bro? Y'all think nah. Nah nah nah. This is top this is worse. I I think I saw like my strange addiction. Somebody was eating bricks, like straight bricks. And it was a uh, freshener. How the fuck not eating? She was like drinking freshener. How? What is wrong with you, bro? I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be thinking motherfuckers ain't humans, bro. They, bro, low key, I think like we got aliens down here, bro. We don't even motherfucking know it. The humans is the aliens, but it's like, yo, they weird. Like, niggas doing weird shit like that. I look around my room and be like, oh my God, let me, let me see. Oh, fuck. Let me see how this tastes. No, like, what the hell? <laughs> the only thing I would give the benefit of doubt to is a kid. Kids don't know no better. Especially if you little as hell. If they see this, they're going to chew on it. They're going to try to bite it. Like, they don't know any better. Few people know that Casey is eating her husband's ashes. She recently shared this secret with her mother. When Casey actually told me that she was eating Sean's ashes, it was like I couldn't speak. I really couldn't do anything. I mean, it's like I was just frozen there. It makes me feel embarrassed, ashamed, disgusted with myself. Confused, crazy is a big one that pops into my head. Got to be really sick person to eat someone's ashes. <laughs> it's panicking me, and it's uh, wor and a sick person she is. I'm saying, like, what? Freeing me that she's losing reality even more, and I need to do what I need to help her get past that. Knowing that a pound That's is just already gone, odd. it's hard. And that's when we're like y'all, that's mad weird. Like I just never see anybody doing that. That's unhuman. Like people need to watch out for her. If any of y'all in the chat got kids, or y'all baby brothers or sisters or mom, dad, hey, watch out for her, bro. Watch out for her. Yo, what's good, man? Welcome to the stream. I need help because I'm gonna run out soon, and I don't know if I'll be able to hold it together any better than I'm doing now. What am I gonna do when I go to bed at night and there's just an urn there and there's nothing in it? But can Casey quit her addiction to eating her husband's ashes? Can her family stop her before it's too late? I just want her to stop eating the ashes. That's my one and only hope for my daughter. I have to stop eating him. I've lost him once. This time it'll be my fault that I lose him again. And I don't wanna do that. She wants to reveal the truth to her cousin, Stephanie, and ask for help. I'm feeling anxious a little bit, um, nervous. I don't want to lose the trust that we have. I'm ready to tell her, and I'm ready to get it out. Uh, 
I have something to tell you, Stephanie. Oh no. I don't want you to freak out and I don't want you to get mad and I really don't want you to push me away and not talk to Hold on. Did my hey they said my stream been fucking blocked, bro. Oh good. Yeah, nah, I don't know. Is my bro it literally No, my shit blocked. Bro. Wait, we got it! You get on kick, it won't ever happen. But I might just go to kick. YouTube, like, what's up with YouTube, bro? Your stream is no longer being blocked due to copyright issues. That now I can sue YouTube. Like, bro, what, what's what, what's up?